Welcome to KL the Photo Guru YouTube channel. This is KL Raja Singh. In this video, we are going to see something about the histogram. Histogram is a visual representation of the distribution of pixels at different brightness area in the picture. If you look at the histogram, it has been divided into five zones. And the left extreme zone is the black zone or the dark zone. And the fifth zone is supposed to be the bright zone or the white zone. What you see in the center is the third zone, the mid-grade zone, or I can say mid-zone. And you have something in the second zone, which is dark gray zone. And the fourth one is basically the bright gray zone. If you look at the histogram in your camera, after pressing the playback button, you are able to see that the x-axis, which is the horizontal axis of the histogram, actually tells about the brightness variations at different levels, starting from 0 to 255. At the same time, the y-axis, I mean the height axis of the histogram will tell you about the number of pixels that is there at a particular point of brightness. So if you see the overall histogram, it gives you a clear cut idea about the placement or the count of the pixels at different exposure level or brightness level. If you see the entire histogram is rising up too tall, then you can understand that the scene becomes less contrasty. And if the histograms are not growing very high, it's little short, you can understand that the scene contains a lot of contrast. So this is an understanding about the exposure and the contrast in the camera level, which the photographer can immediately check it or correct it. So if the scene contains only white, suppose I'm shooting a white wall, the pixels are all carrying only white information as the color information. My histogram has to have the pixels only at the right extreme end. At the same time, if you try to shoot a picture of a black area, let's say for example a black chart paper, the entire frame contains nothing but black. In that case, pixels in the histogram has to shift almost to the left extreme end of the graph. So here, the understanding is very simple. When there is no light, it contains only black. My histogram has to have the pixels only on the left hand side. In the other case, it is on the right hand side. If you have pixels also in the middle tone or mid-grade tone, then you can also find some pixels rising up in the middle of the graph. Every time you take a picture, the scene contains highlights, the scene contains shadows, it also contains dark shadows, it also contains bright shadows. So this is the arrangement which has been given in the form of a graph, which a photographer can easily understand and analyze about his exposure. If you are seeing a mid-grade tone scene or a subject in front of you, you have to visualize that the histogram has to come to the center of the graph, like a small mountain. If the graph is not coming as a small mountain in the center, if it has been shifted towards the left side of the graph or more towards the dark side of the graph, then you should understand that the picture is slightly underexposed. On the other hand, if it has been shifted towards the right side of the graph, then you should understand that it has been slightly overexposed. This is that simple. So whenever you are taking a picture, please pre-visualize your histogram. That's very important. Understand the colors in terms of tones and understand the overall brightness in the particular scene and imagine that how much area of the scene contains bright pixels and how much area of the scene contains dark pixels and in between pixels and so on. Now let me just show you some pictures. This is a good example where you try to understand about the histogram and activity of crows in the uh, sky. The sky is very bright and brilliant. There are no clouds. It's a pure white sky, too much of highlights. Against the skylight, the crows are all being silhouetted and they look totally black. When I take the picture, I visualize a, a histogram where the pixels are all there on the left hand side of the graph, that is at zero and some pixels are there on the right hand side of the graph that is at 255. I don't have any pixels in between because there are no mid grays or mid tones in the picture. Now look at the picture here and also look at the histogram. If I'm able to get the histogram like that only then my exposure is correct. If the histogram has come to the center by any chance that means the picture is underexposed because the white sky is not represented as white instead shown as a gray. So this is where you correct yourself and give a slightly an overexposure or give a compensation so that 
the white is represented as white this is how you understand the highlight area and the shadow area now let me take another picture which contains nothing but midtone a monument so mostly it contains brown and brown oriented uh, colors and uh, this is basically a midtone i take a picture as per my camera meter and intentionally underexposed a picture and overexposed a picture also now let us start looking at the first picture which is being taken as per my camera guidance you can call, call it as a zero exposure you can see the histogram is right on the center like a small hill so i am very happy because my camera has given me a right clue to get the proper exposure and the histogram just matches with the scene now let me look at the other picture which i intentionally underexposed the second picture which i underexposed you can see that the midtones are not getting the proper brightness they are getting slightly underexposed that is the reason why all the pixels are shifted slightly towards the left now look at the third picture here the overall picture is slightly overexposed the midtone pixels got slightly overexposed so the graph is been shifted slightly towards the right this is a easiest way of understanding whether a picture is properly exposed or underexposed or overexposed remember the histogram is basically a tool by which a photographer can understand the exposure and maybe he can correct it if necessary when you are doing a live view shooting mode you can very easily correct the exposure by looking at the histogram look at the scene compare the histogram and if it is not matching with the scene then you can always overexpose a little bit or underexpose a little bit so that the histogram just matches with the a uh, scene that you see in front of you remember this histogram information is a part of your exif data so this is a well calibrated mechanism or well calibrated technique which is being used to prove that your exposure is just right you can see this histogram in all your cameras after playing back a particular image in the case of canon cameras you play back an image and then press the display button or a info button multiple times and you will be able to see the histogram being displayed on the lcd screen some other cameras maybe for nikon you can see that you play back the image and press the top arrow and you are able to get the display of histogram in that so in most other cameras in all modes you will be able to see the histogram displayed conveniently for the purpose of understanding the proper exposure instead of looking at the lcd brightness it is suggested to look at the histogram to understand about the exposure pattern apart from this uh, brightness histogram most of our uh, new generation cameras are able to display an rgb histogram also this is basically the histogram of primary colors red green and blue which gives you an easy understanding as how these colors are distributed in this particular image and you are able to get an understanding about the overall distribution of colors in the particular picture so please make it as a habit to look at the playback along with the histogram the histogram is basically a tool or a clue which can nail the exposure perfectly and professionally so that you are able to get everything right on the camera level in this episode i have been discussing about the zonal system the pixel placement and brightness variation mid tones highlight shadows dark mid tones bright mid tones and so on these are all something related to exposure so your entire issues or maybe the challenges related to the exposure can be comfortably and easily solved by looking at the beautiful graph called histogram if you find the information about the histogram useful uh, please like it share it and subscribe to klr the photo guru youtube channel and press the bell button for the updates i'll catch up with similar videos in future take care